Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create ducking using Reagate in Reaper. Now, in a previous video, I showed you how to create ducking using a sidechain compressor. And that video is available right here. So if you want to see that to compare which way you prefer, check that one out. But in this video, we're going to perform ducking using a gate or rea gate, which comes with Reaper. So I have a track in front of me here with a few tracks of music. I have some keys and some drums, and then I have a voiceover that goes on top. Let's hear it now. From our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present something sinister, something deep, in a world gone mad. Now, in general, we're going to use ducking for voiceover or narration, where it lowers the music when the voice comes in. It tends to be used in commercials, in podcasts, or on radio. But let's take a look at how to set this up. Like I said, we have two tracks of music. If we had one track of music, we put a gate plugin on the music track. But because we have two or even more, I'm going to create a folder to put the plugin on instead. So I had a new track over here. We'll turn it into a folder by clicking this right here. And it puts these two tracks in a folder. So now if we put an effect on this track, it's going to affect both the music tracks. So now let's put a gate on that track. We'll go to the Reaper effects and we'll choose Rea Gate. And that plugin looks like this. Now, by default, it's just going to gate our music. In other words, when the music's not playing, it's going to turn it off. So it'll sound like this. But we want to trigger this from our narration or our voice. So the way to do that is to create a sidechain. So we'll go to the voice track or the voiceover track, go to the routing, and drag and drop it onto this plugin. That's going to create a send from audio channel 1 and 2 and send it to 3 and 4 on the folder. So our folder track now has four channels of audio. That was created when we made the send. So we can use 3 and 4 as a sidechain trigger, just by changing it over here to auxiliary input left and right. So now a gate is going to be triggered by this voice. So if I play it. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present. But as you can tell, it's working backwards. Every time the voice comes in, we then hear the music. We want the opposite. And we can get that by hitting this button down here. Invert gate or duck. This is going to create the ducking effect that we want. But we need to turn on the wet and the dry to get the effect. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present. So every time the narrator is speaking, it turns off the music. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas. But we can see it's reacting very quickly. To make this work more naturally, let's slow down our release. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present something sinister, something deep, in a world gone mad. From Walt Disney Pictures, rated G. Start but there's still one problem. It's completely turning off the music when the voice is speaking. Now, Live from our studios in Dallas, Texas. We just want to lower it a bit. So we can adjust that with the wet control. If we bring it down a bit, we'll still hear the music based on how low we bring it down. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present something sinister, something deep, 
you know, we're so if we leave it at zero, it completely turns it off. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas. But if we bring it down a bit, we'll still hear some of the music. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present something sinister, something deep, in a world gone mad. And we can hear it better if we start off a bit earlier to hear that transition. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present something sinister, something deep, in a world gone mad. From Walt Disney Pictures. And we can tell the difference at the end when the narrator stops speaking and the music comes up to its normal level. Now on Blu-ray and DVD. And the time it takes to get there is based on the release setting. So the quicker it is, the quicker it's going to jump back to the normal level. Now, live from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present something sinister, something deep, in a world gone mad, from Walt Disney Pictures. So now let's hear it from the beginning. from our studios in Dallas, Texas, we present something sinister, something deep, in a world gone mad. From Walt Disney Pictures, Rated G, starts Friday only in theaters. Now on Blu-ray and DVD. And then the volume gets normal after he's done speaking. So it sounds very natural to have the music come down considerably when the narrator or the voice is speaking. And like I said, it's very useful for podcasts or intros or radio or TV commercials as it moves the music out of the way to make room for the voiceover or the person speaking. Now... Live from our studios in Dallas, Texas. So that's pretty much it. That's ducking using the Reagate plugin in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you can use it. And I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mom.